What's the most unattractive thing a girl can do? I remember going on a date and we were having dinner and she farted. What? I got grossed out. We put our friend on a blind date with some of the best bachelors our town had to offer. My name is Arlene, I'm 20 years old and I'm just trying to look for someone I can vibe with. They're gonna be asked six rounds of questions and at the end, she's gonna pick out a winner. She's gotta have a direction in her life, you know? I want her to have good career goals, I want her to know what she's doing in her life. I'm the guy with the most raise out of everyone here, all right? Like, we all know if I don't win this, this shit was rigged. Direction, good job path, she's gotta know what she's doing. That's nice. <laughs> you know, I just can't see myself being with a girl that smokes weed and just any other type of substances, you know? Like, she has to be clean as a bean. Okay, okay. I mean, just adding back to what my bro said, any type of substance, I don't, if she's drinking daru, I don't want her, man. I'm the only one here with a victory under my belt. I, I don't know competition. I don't need no daru, right? I'm a clean guy myself, and I want someone that's clean. Okay. Uh, for me, I think it's any girl that doesn't take care of herself. You know, she doesn't go to the gym, she doesn't stay fit. That's a big no-no for me. Everyone needs a gym bro in their life. Come on now. I need you to dub the fucking creatine. Okay, and uh, do you go to the gym yourself? I do. Okay. Sounds you want to see my muscles? Oh. I mean, I can't see it right now, but maybe later, sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll show you. She just can't be committed. You know what I mean? No, I don't want those. Kid no, Lee. that's too sloppy. Yeah, no, not Kindri. Can't be sloppy. And that's um, mindset, soul, everything. Because I, I like a girl who's got a nice figure, but like, don't be showing it off. Like, no, like, deep cut blouse. Hide it. Nice sweater. <laughs> you know? okay. like that. It's too much like out there in the open, you know? If your mom caught us on a date, what would you do? I would introduce you to my mom and tell you to give take blessing from my mom. Aww. I like my woman how I like my Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. I'm not gonna lie, I would be pretty scared. Um, I would just say, Mom, I'm shooting a YouTube video. This is actually a prank. This is not real. This is not real. I'm a man of the Lord. Yeah, I mean, if my mom was to catch us, you know, there would be no catching because she would already know. You know, because I don't lie to my mom. And you know, just how I don't lie to my mom, I wouldn't ever lie to a girl. I like that, and that's nice. I mean, I'm a really family-oriented guy. My dad helped me set my mustache before I left. My mom helped me pick the color of the flowers. She already knows her here. When I get into a relationship or when I even think of dating a girl, I think long-term right away. Um, because my, you know, intent is marriage. So if I see my mom there, I'll be like, oh, you know, she's a client, I'm training her. And if this is like our third or fourth uh, date, then I'll obviously introduce you. Okay, okay. Um, essentially, it depends. Now, I'm gonna assume who's ever on the other side of the curtain is a very attractive, beautiful, classy woman. And so if my mother was to see us on a date, I'd be proud of that. However, you know, I've been known to date a little bit of trash once in a while. <laughs> and uh, when you're dating girls who are a little bit trashy, it's like going to McDonald's, you know? You, you go, you pig out, but uh, you don't really brag about it. So that's uh, where I stand on that. Only rounds back in the cut to show all these kids that they're nothing more than Janet to the game. And I'm trying to fuck. What's your biggest red flag? Mm, my biggest red flag is I'm very, very nice. Even if people swear at me, I give them a nice reply back. Aw, nice guys always finish last. If you're happy, that matters. Oh, I'm just too good of a liar, you know? I love gaslighting, I love lying, but you're never gonna know what's wrong. Honestly, I'm just a great guy. Like, whoever ends up winning here is gonna be the real winner. I don't think you're the best for me if you're out here lying. Unlike these guys, I'm not gonna put myself down. I have no red flags, you know? I would say I don't have any. Only thing red about me is my pug. <laughs> I spent too much money on my shawty. Like, I'll be spoiling her. I got Gucci, Louis, Dior, Prada, Fendi, all from AliExpress.com. Let me ask you a question. How much do you squat? Um... Yeah, that's a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest red flag is like, I got some demons on the inside, you know? I mean, so I'm gonna keep that guy in, but um, you know, the longer you get to know me, uh, you're gonna see those depths. And uh, Badam is greater than Badanam. <laughs> <laughs> and now, a quick message from our sponsors. We would like to thank Lighthouse Bar & Grill for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a fire restaurant opening up in Abbotsford, look no further. Check them out right here, you won't be disappointed. What's your best quality as a man? My best quality as a man is my hair and my dance moves. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Wish I could be. My best quality as a man is, you know, I'm just too good of a chef, you know? I love making food. I love eating food, you know? And maybe a couple years with me, you can look just like me and we can actually be twins. My mom's gonna be watching this. So, you gotta keep it family friendly this time, you know? I'm a firm believer in the 
husband being the breadwinner and the wife being the housewife dynamic. So that, I, I think that's a that's a quality. I mean, are you looking for a maid? Because that's what it's sounding like. I'm actually done with these toxic ass bitches. I'm done getting disrespected every goddamn time. If I don't win this time, this is the last time you're gonna be seeing me on any of the videos, all right? I feel like my best quality is I just make too much money. I make so much paper that not only will you be home cooking and cleaning, but you can also run your own career. You can run your cafe slash flower shop, which goes into a $40,000 loss every month, but I'll still be funding it and you'll still have your own business. <laughs> I'm the real bum that year, you know? I got the guns here loaded. And you know, the best quality about me is I can bench four plates. Come on, you see these guns? Everyone needs a gym, bro. Show me a guy here who can bench four plates. He says he can bench press parm. That's what I heard. <laughs> 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 My best quality. I tell the truth. You know, in a world full of liars, you know, Parm admitted to being a liar. I tell the truth. Sometimes that goes against me. What's the most attractive job a girl can have? She can have any job she wants and I will fully support her no matter what till the end. Aww. Aww. It's definitely a UFC fighter. I mean, I want to feel safe. If she can throw a punch, throw a kick or two, you know, if I'm out in public, I won't have to worry about, you know, someone running up on us. <laughs> I think the most attractive job a chick can have is a masseuse. You know, if you can massage, you know, hit me up. You know, we should chill after this. I'm looking for like a content creator. You know what I mean? I'm a content creator myself, you know, film director, Sigma Studios. Okay, I can relate to that. I think the most attractive job for my woman would be to be my personal chiropractor because <laughs> after, you know, after benching you, I'm gonna need you to touch me up. Yo, yo, yo. You and the other guy can just date each other then. What's the most attractive job? It's more about how that job makes you feel. Coming home, I don't want to hear about no, like, oh, it was so stressful. So basically for your job, simply put, I don't give a f What's the most attractive car a girl can drive? Well, for me, the girl can drive a car with four tires and an engine, but she needs a smile on her face. That matters the most. Any car in the world she can drive. This guy's too sweet. Too sweet for me. Most attractive car a girl can drive. I mean, it's not even a car. It's a horse. I think girls on horseback, you know, I used to drive horses myself. Riding horses. Drive. Riding horses, drive. sorry. Drive. Horses are pretty. I like white horses. So the girl doesn't have to drive. All she gotta do is ride. In the passenger seat. Yeah, that's a no for me. Personally, she needs to drive a lifted Ram 3500. Big girl, big truck, it's my type of girl. Okay, that's not bad. I think for me, I want my girl to drive a muscle car, something that's built tough like me, so sometimes I can feel like I'm under control. Okay. I, I think the most attractive um, vehicle a female can drive it's a Ford Mustang because Matthew Cody Blora. Matthew Cody Blora. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> so now that Arlene got a chance to get to know our lovely bachelors, she's going to pick a winner. And we're about to find out who impressed her the most. Let's find out who she picks. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so. I heard some really weird stuff today that I was not expecting to hear. But based off of everyone's answers, I have a winner. And the winner is number four. So I chose number four because I really liked his answers. They were very respectful. And he's a mix of sweet and bad, which is exactly what I need. Thank you for watching this video and check out this video and subscribe.